What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James from Min Hunter Comics, and today we got a really cool video for you. We're actually talking about first appearances and which is the best first cover appearance of these characters. So I'm going to give you, in my opinion, the top 20 first appearances of any character. It can be a villain, be a hero, Marvel, DC, Image, whatever. I'm not talking about iconic covers. The first appearance of Spider-Man, great cover, but it's more iconic rather than I think the best. So we're going to factor a few things in. The prevalence of the character, the value of the comic, the coolness of the cover, and if it's aged at all. Another couple ground rules, it has to feature the character on the cover for its first appearance. There's a lot of great characters out there that their first appearance didn't have them anywhere on the cover. So we're not talking about those. Like, you know, Venom's first appearance, ASM 300, Venom's not on the cover, so it's not gonna be in this video. All right, guys, remember, now this is the best cover appearances for these first appearance characters. And we're gonna start it off with number 20. Omega Red. Now you're gonna say, I'm breaking my rule already, he's not on the cover. Well, he is and he isn't. Omega Red is in the corner of the cover and it does showcase his powers. Clearly they're standing off against him. It was a cool stylistic idea, so that's why I put it on the list here at number 20. Number 19, Tomb of Dracula number one. First appearance of Dracula. Just a very cool, classic, horror-looking comic. It's a very memorable cover. If you run into it in the wild, you have to pick it up. 18, Marvel's on a streak here. Avengers 83, the first appearance of Valkyrie. Now, I actually think this cover is insanely awesome. She's all cocky in the middle of the cover. It's just a super cool cover. It totally makes the character super cool and interesting. First appearance of Elektra, Daredevil 168. Absolutely cool nighttime raining cover. She's silhouetted in the light of the moon. It's just, oh my gosh, it's such a sweet cover. That one, if you find in the wild, you gotta grab. Although most people know what that worth is. Good luck trying to get it. Number 16, Marvel Premiere, number one. First appearance of Adam Warlock. The cover is a little bit aged, but it is still very cool. Dude's front and center, he's right in the middle, taking all the space for your attention, and just a pretty cool cover. Number 15, first appearance of Red Hulk in Hulk number one in 2008. Absolutely killer cover, super memorable, and it's our first newer comic on this list, but man, it, tell me that's not super memorable and super grabbing. So awesome. First appearance of Cassandra Kane Batgirl and bringing DC onto this list. This is Batman 567 and this is the new Batgirl jumping into a glass ceiling and coming down. It's a cool black cover in the rain with the falling glass. Super cool first appearance and first cover appearance. Great. All right, DC coming on that list a little bit. Now we're talking Man of Steel 18, first appearance of Doomsday. Not only is this cool, I think it's aged well. You could actually kind of get these in the CGC 9.8 without killing your wallet here. Unfortunately, it's with his mask on, so that detracts a little bit from it. However, it's still a serious cover, him exploding off the page like that. Really cool. Marvel bringing it back. Amazing Spider-Man 129, the first appearance of Punisher. What a cool cover, the way they had it yellow and Spider-Man is in Punisher's crosshairs. This is iconic, cool, and valuable. All right, number 11, Marvel Spotlight number five, the first appearance of Ghost Rider. Now you guys know I'm a sucker for cool black covers. The spine ticks more easily and more noticeably on black covers, so finding a nice high grade is always more impressive on those. Well, that's no difference here. Ghost Rider is just the coolest character ever. He's exploding off the page, flaming head. It's just, it had to be on the list. Well, you guys heard me say I like black covers. Here's the first appearance of Nova. And just the way he pops off the page, it's absolutely beautiful. He's exploding off, welcoming everybody to his origin story for the first time. Just, just a great killer first appearance. Remember, doesn't have to be DC or Marvel. 
This is Ray number one, the first appearance of Bloodshot. Look at this. This is a little bit of like less meets more. Very memorable cover, classic stuff, very just three-tone cover, but it works. All right, I've had contact with this next one a few times in the wild. This is Amazing Spider-Man 361, the first appearance of Carnage. So this one made the list not only because his first appearance, it's really cool. He's right on the cover, showcasing his powers. Carnage has now been around for like 30 years, and yet he's one of those characters that still pretty much looks the same. The original art was so good that it didn't have to be changed that much. So the Carnage we have in 2020 still kind of looks like the 361 Carnage. Mark Bagley's art just holds up the test of time, and that's why it's on our list. Number seven. Hulk 181, the first appearance of Wolverine. It's a very memorable cover, obviously him fighting Hulk, and I think that's what makes it so cool. It has aged well, not perfectly, but it has aged well. It looks good, it's a lot of action going on, good color scheme from an artistic standpoint, how the cover portrays. This one's gonna make the list. Number six, Walking Dead number 19, the first appearance of Michonne. The badass bitch coming up with her two armless, jawless walkers, and she looks extremely stern. She looks tough, and we're like, who the hell is this? Just a great first appearance cover. It tells you pretty much everything you need to know about her just from the cover. Number five, I actually have this en route to CGC, and that is Bane's first appearance. It's called Vengeance of Bane number one. And the cool thing about this cover is it's a very realistic take dashed by a large red background with Batman's profile in the back. It's super artistic, super cool looking, and man, what a killer first appearance and first cover appearance. He lucked out, man. Having your own one shot as your first appearance. Also, kind of the same thing with Carnage first appearance. That still looks like Bane. Bane hasn't changed his look too much. There's different artists' interpretation of him, but that's Bane. And he looks exactly like Bane in his first appearance. Here, Captain America number one. Captain America punching Hitler in the face is about as cool as it gets. Yes, this cover is aged. The value, however, is catastrophically large. It's ridiculous. Um, but Captain America is an extremely prevalent character, so it does get boosted higher on this list. But man, look at that punch to Hitler's face. That, perfect. All right, we're getting into the top three here. Number three, Iron Man 282. This is the first appearance of War Machine, and this is badass. What a way to make your first appearance there. <laughs> Just attacking the viewer. Super cool. Number two, we're talking Spawn. First appearance of Spawn. Spawn looks exactly like this picture. This is still, to date, I think the most iconic image of Spawn, and it's his first appearance. Todd McFarlane portrays everything he wants to portray of Spawn right in this first cover. It's absolutely badass. Spawn looks menacing. He's got the hand glowing and everything. What a great first appearance cover. All right, guys, you ready for my number one first appearance character appearance, I think, of all time? Luke Cage. Hero for Hire, Luke Cage number one. Absolutely adore this cover. Black cover with Luke Cage looking tough as hell, powerful as hell, and he still pretty much looks the way he looked then, minus a little bit of more like 70s hair. It has a little crime scene noir stylistic red effect in a box right behind him. And just the black on the red, with the yellow, it's just so powerful. And I think that it's deserving, and maybe perhaps a little underrated, for the number one first appearance cover appearance. What do you guys think? Am I missing anything on my list? Am I a little out of order? Let me know in the comments. Keep on collecting, I will see you soon.